July is popping. Things to do besides hanging out in your pool because it is Bakersfield and it is hot here. But let me tell you about this really great list of things to do around Bakersfield. Next, let's talk about the fun things to do in town for July. They always say readers are leaders. Kern County Library knows that to be a fact. For the entire month of July, your kid needs to be able to read 10 books or 10 hours of reading and they will get a free book from the library. What? We love free. Kern County Library has this really great program, Readers or Leaders, as we all say, and all you have to do is read or have your kid read. We love free, F-R-E-E, -E, our favorite four letter word, not a bad one. Go to kerncountylibrary.org right here and sign up for their reading program for the month of July. What a fun thing to do while you're laying out by the pool. You're a grand old flag, you're a high flying flag. I know, my singing is awesome, right? One of my favorite holidays, the 4th of July. Duh, I'm a Native American, let's go. Well, I'm not a Native American, I'm an American native. Anyway, nonetheless, we celebrate 4th of July and at Riverwalk Park, they do this great fireworks display. It is again, F-R-E-E, -E, our favorite four letter word. It's on 4th of July, starts at six. They're probably gonna have a ton of stuff on the water because we have water again in Kern County. Yay! So there's probably gonna be a ton of activities going on, probably barbecues over there at the park. Probably sounds like a really fun evening and you probably don't even have to be at the park to see it, I would imagine, because there's several places for you to like park and walk over, all kinds of stuff to do over there at Riverwalk. So Riverwalk Park is a place to be if you want to watch some really fun American fireworks display. There you go. And for my artsy friends out there on the first Friday, you know, we've got second Saturday, first Friday, third Thursday. We got it all <laughs> every day of the week. The first Friday's art walk is downtown Bakersfield on July 7th, 7-7. That one's easy to remember. From five to nine. And again, it's free. Oh, we love that. A nice art walk. It'll be a nice warm summer evening. You're downtown. Might need to stop in, have some nice dinner at some of the restaurants down there. Go see some art. I mean, come on. Does it get better than that? I say no. You know I'm not going to go through the entire list. However, this list of things to do, we do every month now. So if this is something that you're interested in, down below in the description, there is the link for you to sign up for you to get this in your inbox, the entire list, not the edited version that I'm doing here, but the entire list. And it gives you the links so that when it comes to your inbox, all you gotta do is click the link. If you need to buy tickets, if you wanna sign up, whatever the situation is, and you will have it for free in your inbox. You know I'm a Gen Xer, so we love the BGs. I mean, staying alive. And some of the others that we just grew up listening to. Bakersfield Music Hall of Fame has another one of the tribute bands that they bring in. And this month it's gonna be the Bee Gees on the 13th. I went to the one a few months ago for U2. I was like really skeptical because I'm a really big U2 fan. But then at the end, of course, it's a different band doing the Bee Gees, but at the end of their set, they played some really, like you had to be a U2 fan to know the story on some of these songs that they played. And I was like, just almost weeping. So I'm sure if you're a fan of the Bee Gees, the tribute band will probably pull out some of those, like I started a joke, kind of a, you know, you gotta be a real true, Bee Gees fan to know some of those ones. I'm sure they're going to do the same thing. So I highly recommend going over to the Bakersfield Music Hall of Fame or clicking the link once you get this in your email and buying yourself the tickets. It's $50 and it's you're probably there maybe three or four hours. Well worth it. They serve drinks and snacks. I wouldn't say go there for a meal, but you can definitely have something to you know take the edge off while you're listening to some of your favorite music. It's really a nice evening. I'm a boy mom. If you're a boy mom watching this, you know you're gonna like this next one. Monster Jam is coming to town. Duh. You have to take your little boy to Monster Jam. Monster trucks, all the noise, all the trucks, and then they talk really fast and it's just loud and it's everything raising a boy is. 
And then there's a bunch of grown men there that are having a good time too. And I went a couple of times when my son was younger and it's really just a fun afternoon. Tickets range from anywhere from like 20 to $67, depending on where you are. It's over at Mechanics uh, Bank or Robble Bank or whatever the name of it is now. And it's the weekend of the 15th and 16th in July. You can buy your tickets at tickets at AXS.com and make sure you choose Rabobank or Mechanics Arena and the date you wanna go. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have so much fun. You might need to get earplugs, but it's still a really good time. If you're raising a boy, if you're a boy mom like I am, I highly recommend going. It's gonna be a fun evening. I didn't even know this was still a thing because I have not been out in bars in a long time. So my apologies, I'm not trying to slam anybody, but line dancing is still happening and it's happening a lot. I remember back in the 90s, like Boots Scoot and Boogie and, you know, God bless Texas when we were doing those little dances. Well, now it's back and it's at Tembler. So it's $10 for four hours with this Joel Hoffman is the guy that's going to lead you into the, the dances and the little kick up and all the things. And it's at Tembler Brewing. So, you know, you can have, you know, some of their brews that they have there. One of our local microbreweries here, microbreweries, microbreweries. That ain't easy to say. Yeah, July 23rd, it's a nice Sunday afternoon from four to eight, $10 for four hours. You're gonna be earning your money there. That's that's a bargain right there. $10 for four hours, what is that? Like $2 an hour, barely $2.25 an hour? Come on. So the entire list will come to you in your email. If you go into my description and you click on the link that says things to do, bakersfield.com, blah, blah, blah. Click on it, I'll send it to you and it will come to your email the beginning of the month or you can wait and watch this video when I post it. And I will see you around town.